Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Arriving now are the Honorable Carlos Del Toro, Secretary of the Navy, General Eric Smith, United States Marine Corps, Commandant of the Marine Corps, and Admiral Lisa Franchetti, United States Navy, Chief of Naval Operations. Ladies and gentlemen, the Honorable Lloyd James Austin III, Secretary of Defense, accompanied by Vice Admiral Yvette M. David, United States Navy, the Superintendent of the United States Naval Academy. Ma'am, go ahead, please take your seat. Secretary. The Secretary, you see now, please take your seat. Ladies and gentlemen, the Blue Angels, the Navy's Precision Flight Demonstration Squadron, will be approaching momentarily behind me at the south end of the stadium in a salute to the class of 2024. Ladies and gentlemen, we invite all of our guests to remain standing for our national anthem, sung by Midshipman First Class Sarah Myers, and the invocation by Captain Maurice Buford, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy. Black was still there. 
Let us pray. Most gracious and triumphant God, and we come on this graduation morning to announce to the world that these treasures of the nation are indeed ready to fight tonight. For four years, they were taught by world-class professors to engage their mind before engaging their weapon. For there's nothing more powerful than a critical thinking warrior. They were mentored by senior sailors and Marines to keep their honor clean. For there's nothing more patriotic to understand that right makes might. And they were motivated by their loved ones to dream big dreams. For there's nothing more inspiring to push beyond limitations, to view setbacks as setups, and to boldly walk into their purposes. So as they enter the fleet, increase their faith, for there's nothing impossible to those that dare to believe. As they enter the fleet, remind them that they are called to be a servant, and it's not about them. For those it is called, they are called to serve. Now stretch forth your hand and bless these graduates who dare to say like your prophet of old, send me, Lord, I will go. Now receive all of your glory, your power, and your honor forever. Amen. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the 65th Superintendent of the United States Naval Academy, Vice Admiral Yvette M. Davids. Good morning, and what a spectacular day it is. Welcome to the graduation and commissioning for the great class of 2024. Class of 2024, the significance of this day is clearly messaged by just observing who is on this stage. We have the privilege of hosting our Secretary of the Navy, Secretary Austin, the Secretary of the Navy, Secretary Del Toro, the Commandant of the Marine Corps, General Smith, and the Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Franchetti, and also in attendance is Governor Westmore from our great state of Maryland. Thank you for joining us. I am beyond honored to be here with you today. Class of 2024, please allow yourself a brief moment to take it all in. Look around at your shipmates next to you, up in the stands of your beautiful Navy and Marine Corps Stadium. Find your family, friends, sponsor families, and loved ones. This will be one of the most unforgettable moments of your life. To our parents, guardians, and mentors, I want to thank you for instilling the values and character traits that attracted your midshipmen to want to serve and to live a life of consequence. We are in your debt. And thank you to our amazing and incredibly dedicated faculty, staff, and coaches who contributed to your development into officers of character over these last four years. So 2024, to those that have supported and mentored you through this challenging journey, please join me in giving them a heartfelt round of applause. I want to thank all those who worked so diligently to set up this beautiful ceremony and to make Commissioning Week so special. We also welcome members of the class of 1974, the 50-year link in the Naval Academy chain with the class of 2024. The class of 1974 have been active in the lives of these midshipmen since I day. They have mentored, supported, and endeavored to strengthen the connection to the legacy of those who have gone before. And the class of 24 will go on to do this themselves with the next generation of Navy and Marine Corps officers. Class of 2024, you began your Naval Academy journey during a global pandemic in what can easily be called a unique start to your time as midshipmen. 
You've represented different parts of the country with separate individual life circumstances and experiences, and you came together. Now you are leaving a proud Naval Academy class with a shared purpose and a shared bond that will last forever. And as you meet in the fleet and enjoy future adventures together, your bond with your classmates will only grow stronger. I am so grateful to your class for your perseverance, the leadership you have shown throughout the brigade, and your enthusiasm. And as you sail forth, these are precisely the traits our nation needs in its leaders. While we can never know what certain, with certainty what the future will hold for you, your job as naval officers is to be ready when your nation calls and to make sure that those you lead are ready. That is your sacred obligation as junior officers. And the critical foundation, the cornerstone of everything you will do, no matter the circumstances, is your character. Because it is your character that has the power to positively influence our military, to inspire and to transform the environment and the people around you. Just as you, 24, have now become a part of the Naval Academy chain as one link, I think back to one of my links in the proverbial superintendent chain, one of my superintendents when I was a midshipman, Admiral Charles R. Larson, class of 1958, brigade commander, and our only four-star superintendent. During his tenure, he also emphasized the importance of character reflected in this poignant statement. If we, the Naval Academy, do our jobs right, we can be the custodians of the core values of the Navy. We can set a standard for professionalism, for honor, for integrity. If we do it right, our graduates go out there into the fleet and they display excellence without arrogance. Excellence without arrogance. Class of 2024, like those before you, these past four years have solidified your foundation and provided you the opportunity to develop the requisite attributes you will need to confidently lead sailors and Marines. You are the custodians of our core values, and with your deep understanding and respect for honor, courage, and commitment, you will make our Navy and Marine Corps better. As you transition from midshipman to officer, this is not the end of your development, but a new beginning. When you get to the fleet, you must continue to cultivate a curious mind, rise above mediocrity, strive for excellence, and strengthen your character every day. Secretary Austin, Secretary Del Toro, Commandant Smith, CNO Franchetti, and to all my shipmates out in the fleet, I want you to know I have watched this class. They are a special group. They are leaders, they are problem solvers, and the fleet will be in good hands. Class of 2024, your Naval Academy family is incredibly proud of you. I'm incredibly proud of you. Your nation is counting on you, and I know you're ready. And I can't wait to see what you will accomplish. So thank you. It is now my pleasure to introduce our 78th Secretary of the Navy, the Honorable Carlos Del Toro. Good morning, everyone. Chaps, great job on the cloud cover this morning. Thank you for the air conditioning, but you need you to keep praying to make sure the, cloud, the, the rain keeps moving in the right direction. Just a little bit more. It's wonderful to be here with you today for the commissioning of the great class of 2024 into our Navy and Marine Corps. Thank you, Vice Admiral Davids, for that kind introduction and for your service and leadership of the future leaders of the United States of America. Admiral, through your own lifelong commitment to service and hard work, you have earned your place as the 65th Superintendent of the United States Naval Academy, and we all congratulate you, Madam. <laughs> Secretary Austin, sir, I now know for certain, for certain, that you enjoyed yourself enough in Annapolis last year to come back again this year, sir. The 1,000 new ensigns and second lieutenants before you today stand ready to serve under your charge in the Department of Defense. And let me simply say that yesterday I had the honor of naming one of our frigates after George Washington's Army aide-de-camp, 
Hamilton. And I am so proud that nearly 250 years later in our nation's history, we again have another great army leader who understands naval power, the instrument that it brings to warfare, and is your biggest supporter. Thank you, Secretary Austin, for all that you do for our Navy, sir. <laughs> Admiral Frank Ketty and General Smith, I know today is a special day for both of you as well. This is your first class of future officers of our Navy and Marine Corps, and I am confident these leaders will accomplish great things during your tenures and beyond as well. I want to thank the families again and friends that are here today in person, virtually and also in our hearts. As many of you already know, families are truly the foundation of military service. As a Naval Academy graduate from the great class of 1983, I, <laughs> I know I could not have accomplished all that I have in my life without my parents and my family who came to the United States as Cuban refugees in the early 1960s and sacrificed so much to give me opportunities unavailable back in Cuba. The great love and support of my wife of 40 years, Betty, and our four wonderful children, along with the help that I received from my classmates and the many friends that I made throughout my years of naval service. That holds true today with each and every one of you. To the class of 2024, the class which in the days leading up to their report date for plebe summer was asked to self-isolate in your homes and minimize contact with others. The class which had not just one eye day, but four eye days. The class which willingly raised their right hands and swore an oath to defend the Constitution. Even amidst uncertainty in a global pandemic, I and everyone on this stage congratulate you. Maybe you did have the last real plebe summer. I still remember sitting where you sit today, a mere 41 years ago, at the tail end of the Cold War. And today, we again face extraordinary challenges in every corner of the world, from Europe to the Red Sea to the Indo-Pacific, and every day, the Navy and Marine Corps defends our nation and allies from those who dare, who they dare threaten us and the rules-based international order that we are charged to protect. Immediately following the October 7th attacks in Israel, the Bataan Amphibious Readiness Group with the 26th MU was on station. The Ready Navy Marine Corps team that we needed, capable of responding to any threat and serving as a powerful testament of our nation's commitment to our allies and partners in Europe and in the Middle East. Just last month, Iran launched its first direct attack on Israel, firing a combination of more than 300 missiles and drones at Israeli military targets. While Iran attempted to send a message of intimidation to the world, Israel and the United States answered the said message. In the Eastern Mediterranean, the USS Arleigh Burke and the USS Kearney successfully shot down numerous Iranian launched ballistic missiles during the attack. For the past eight months, our Navy Marine Corps team, through the Eisenhower Strike Group, has engaged and destroyed the missiles and drones which threaten innocent maritime shipping. The conflict taking place in the Red Sea is unprecedented, yet our sailors and Marines have bravely answered the call. And I have full confidence that these future officers before me are ready to join our fleet and our force as the next generation of leaders of our Navy and Marine Corps also ready to answer the call. To the class of 2024, today you embark on a journey, one of service, of sacrifice, and of growth. Our country will ask you, Naval Academy graduates, for your service in many ways. You will be problem solvers, diplomats, war fighters, but most of all, you will be leaders. May the legacies of the brave men and women who have gone before you and are listed up on the walls of this great stadium always guide you. While we face great challenges in the world today, I know that you are the embodiment of strength and you are ready to meet all those challenges. Go forth with the confidence of the power within you, that your teammates beside you and a grateful nation behind you. 
Congratulations, God bless you, your families, and our servicemen and women around the globe. I thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my honor to introduce the 28th Secretary of Defense, the Honorable Lloyd James Austin III. Well, good morning, class of 2024. Let's try that again. Good morning, class of 2024. Right, that's more like it. Secretary Del Toro, Admiral Franchetti, and General Smith, thanks for your leadership of the Navy and the Marine Corps. It's great to see so many distinguished guests, ambassadors, public officials, including Governor Westmore. And Governor, I'm glad that I'm not the only Army guy here today. <laughs> Let me also acknowledge a close friend and mentor of mine, Admiral Mike Mullen of the class of 1968. Admiral, congratulations on the naming of the future DDG 144 as USS Michael G. Mullen. Hoa. And Vice Admiral Davids, family, friends, midshipmen, and above all, the class of 2024. It is, indeed, it is indeed an honor to join you today. And it's great to be back at this ceremony for my second year in a row. So this is starting to be a habit. I'm just so happy that you were eager to bring back an old West Point guy. Okay, I'm glad we got that out of the way. <laughs> and for anyone who thinks that the second installment can't be as good as the first, hey, just think of uh, Top Gun Maverick. <laughs> now, you should start getting used to some new titles. So congratulations, ensigns and second lieutenants. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? I think so. Today, we welcome these outstanding sailors and Marines to the greatest Navy and Marine Corps on Earth and the most powerful fighting force in history. Now, I know that I'm standing between you and your first salutes, so I'm going to keep this pretty brief because I believe that a good commencement speaker should be tall. <laughs> but a good commencement speech should be short. <laughs> you know, the class of 2024 didn't have an easy road to get to this day. During your plea year, liberty was rare. And I'm told that you use some unconventional tactics to protest. More specifically, you threw printers out of windows and off bridges. I understand that one intrepid member of this class even climbed up the chapel dome to put a printer on top. Which is pretty impressive considering how long it took the class of 2024 to climb Herndon. Now, as a former Service Academy cadet, 
I understand this sort of thing. Which brings me to an important piece of business. To all midshipmen still serving restrictions for minor infractions, you are hereby absolved. You know, that never gets old. I mentioned that this is my second consecutive year on the yard, but for two guests with us today, Dan and, Mar and, and Nancy Martineau, it's their third. Dan served in the Marine Corps for 20 years, and Nancy is an Air Force veteran. They're also the parents of Second Lieutenant Sean Martineau of the Naval Academy Class of 2022 and of Ensign Thomas Martineau of the class of 2023 and of Christopher and Kelly who will be commissioned today as ensigns. Now, that is an outstanding military family. And so is every other family here today. You know, you can feel the pride in these sailors and Marines, and that's because of the thousands of loved ones and sponsors that are here today. And so graduates, their values guided you. Their encouragement fueled you, and their love sustained you. So your day is also their day. So class of 2024, please stand up, face your families, and give them a round of applause. Okay, take seats. This is a great day and a proud day, but it's also a day of reflection and remembrance. And I know that two of your own are no longer with us. So I would ask that we take a moment to remember Midshipman Luke Bird and Midshipman Mason Halsey. We are all deeply grateful that the Byrd and Halsey families are here with us today. Now, I want to say a few words about the challenges facing America's newest lieutenants and ensigns. You have lived by your class motto from adversity, victory. And during a once in a generation pandemic, that's exactly what you showed. For weeks, you could rarely leave your rooms. So you bonded with your teammates over Google Meet. And your classes were rough as well. You still pass plebe chemistry, eventually. <laughs> and I know that you were shotgunned into new companies to start your youngster year. And I hope that you'll see your years here as a long lesson in grit adaptability, and discipline. You put in the reps and sets to succeed as a team and grow as teammates. And that's exactly what we'll continue to expect of you today and every day. The United States has the most capable Navy and the Marine Corps in the world. And make no mistake, we're going to keep it that way. And you are going to keep it that way. You know, last year, I told the class of 2023 that they would learn that the lifeblood of the rules-based international order is actually seawater. 
And over the past year, we've seen how important your mission is. Sea Power is a beacon projecting American power and American principle to the world. Our leaders, our, our allies and partners depend on it. Our foes and rivals envy it. And so today, from the South China Sea to the Red Sea, we're seeing new challenges to the open world of rules, rights, and responsibilities built with American leadership after World War II. And in times like these, freedom of navigation rides on the bow waves of U.S. Navy ships. And as officers, you will help us increase American security and model American values worldwide. Our sailors and Marines let the U.S. military project power anywhere on Earth. And so we're depending on you to secure the world's sea lanes for the free flow of ships, and commerce, and ideas. We're depending on you to sail, fly, and operate wherever international law allows. We're depending on you to deepen old alliances and forge new friendships. And we're depending on you to deter conflict and to keep the peace. As Admiral Arleigh Burke said back in 1961, U.S. Navy officers must understand not only how to fight a war, but how to use the tremendous power which they operate to sustain a world of liberty and justice. That's your mission, and you will be tested. Just ask last year's graduates. You know, two members of the class of 2023 have asked me to pass along a message today. Though, those ensigns were aboard the, the USS Kearney, and they helped defend freedom of navigation in the Red Sea. They helped those in distress at sea. They helped degrade the capabilities of the Iranian-backed Houthi militia, and they helped shoot down missiles and UAVs. In fact, the Kearney conducted 51 engagements in six months, which is the most direct Navy engagements with the foes since World War II. And the message of those ensigns on the Kearney to the class of 2024 is this. You are ready. Believe it. You are ready because, as one of those instances put it, the Academy is the ultimate team-building exercise, and what comes next is not a drill. You will lead sailors and Marines through tension and uncertainty. Your teammates will look to you for leadership, for grace under pressure, for calm under fire, and you will be ready. Ensigns and lieutenants, long after you leave the yard, you'll steer by the values that you learn on the yard. And those values will be your North Star. You'll uphold your convictions with courage. Hold yourself accountable. Treat others with dignity and respect, and defend our democracy and our Constitution with honor, courage, and commitment. Because leadership isn't just about what you do, it's about who you are. Now, I know that today marks a milestone after years of formal education. But as sailors and Marines, your education is just beginning. You know, Admiral Nimitz 
was once talking to a young Marine. And the Admiral said, today is a very special day for me because it was just 63 years ago that I entered the Naval Academy. And the Marine said, well, Admiral, do you think you'll make a career of it? And Admiral, Admiral Nimitz replied, yes, I think I shall. And the Admiral added, I'm still learning every day. I'm still trying to do my best. And so that's what we'll ask of you as well. Don't think that your education is anywhere close to being over. And I hope that you commit yourselves today to lifelong learning. You'll learn from your peers, from your leaders, from your sailors and Marines, from the allies and partners that you'll serve alongside. And you'll need to keep learning and growing because your mission will only get more complex. And ensigns and lieutenants, your character, judgment, and integrity, and courage will let you play a central role in the next chapter of American history. So we are counting on you. We know that you'll all, you'll, you'll all make us proud. We know that you'll excel. We know that you'll keep turning adversity into victory. Congratulations, class of 2024. May, may God bless you and your families. May God bless our troops and may God continue to bless the United States of America. The Academic Dean and Provost of the United States Naval Academy, Dr. Samara L. Fireball. Successfully completing the requirements and demands of a Naval Academy education is no small task. From I day to two day, it's a steady dose of challenges, ranging from academic to athletic, to leadership and character development. I have no doubt that each of you has been challenged, perhaps in ways that you never thought you would, or to levels that you never thought you could achieve, but you did it. And we congratulate each of you for doing so. To the families and friends of these soon-to-be Naval Academy graduates and officers, these soon-to-be ensigns and second lieutenants, and to the faculty and staff here today as well, I would like to thank you and congratulate you. The rare graduate is the one who never needed the support of family and friends and mentors. These graduates, like the tens of thousands before them, have depended on your support and encouragement, and you were there for them when they needed it the most. Know you are proud of their success, and we are most grateful to you for your role in that success. <clears throat> Candidates, please rise. <clears throat> On behalf of the faculty of the United States Naval Academy, I present these candidates for the baccalaureate degree and recommend that this degree be conferred upon them. As you have successfully completed your course of study at the United States Naval Academy and have been recommended by the academic board as superintendent of the United States Naval Academy and by virtue of the authority vested in me by the Congress of the United States, I confer upon each of you the baccalaureate degree with all rights and privileges thereunto pertaining. The 
But Commandant of the Marine Corps, General Eric Smith, United States Marine Corps, will administer the oath of office to those being commissioned in the United States Marine Corps. <laughs> Class of 24, seats. There we go. There we go. General Smith. I present 258 midshipmen of the graduating class to be commissioned in the United States Marine Corps. Well, good morning. Hurrah. Secretary Austin, Secretary Del Toro, Admiral Davids. Admiral Franchetti and I are proud to join you in congratulating the Naval Academy class of 2024 as they commissioned today. To the families, the moms, the dads, the brothers, sisters, everyone who played a role in getting these midshipmen where they are today, be proud of these young Americans because they're doing something that everyone else couldn't or wouldn't. They chose to do something extraordinary to serve their nation. They chose service and committed themselves to a cause greater than themselves. To the class of 2024, you have every right to be proud as hell. It's a long four years to get to these seats in this stadium, so don't forget this moment. It'll sustain you in the tough times that come. In a few minutes, you'll walk across this stage and receive your diploma. You'll take a moment to celebrate, a moment to pack your things, say your goodbyes. And then some of you will go to the basic school, some to flight school, or even directly to your first ship. But no matter where you start these next few months, you will take your place in the fleet, and you'll be ready to defend this nation, if called. That's where we need you. That's where I need you. Leading sailors and Marines far from here, on the sea or on distant shores, that Americans here at home can remain prosperous, safe, and free. I know that you're ready for that challenge. To the Marines, moments from now you'll swear an oath. And it is different than the one that you'll swear the rest of your career, not in substance, but in the way you swear it because today you aren't going to say your name. You're going to stand with other Marines and say two words. You're going to say, I do. Not just as an individual, but as a Marine surrounded by other Marines. Because from this day forward, you're one of us. You share in everything we have accomplished in our 249 years of existence and bear the responsibility of everything that we will achieve in the years to come. Look around you at the names etched into stone around this stadium. Battles like Bella Wood, Iwo Jima, Inchon, and distant places like Kosovo, Afghanistan, and Iraq. They're your legacy now as much as they are mine. It's up to you to bring us victory the next time a name is added to that list. You've proven that you have what it takes to join our team. Now you need to earn it every day. Your Marines are already out there in the fleet training and preparing for the fight that's coming. They want to fight, they want to win, and they want you at your absolute best to lead them. You must use every opportunity from now until the moment you set foot in front of that first formation to prepare your body, mind, and soul for what is required and what will be required when the day comes. Your Marines will expect nothing less, and I expect nothing less. Welcome to the team. I look forward to everything you will accomplish for our Corps in the years to come. I'm proud of you. Welcome aboard, Semper Fidelis. <laughs> Graduates to be commissioned in the United States Marine Corps, rise.
Raise your right hand and repeat after me. Having been appointed a second lieutenant in the United States Marine Corps to rank from 24 May 2024, do you hereby accept such appointment and do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office upon which you are about to enter. So help you God. Second lieutenants, take your seats. The Chief of Naval Operations, Admiral Lisa Franchetti, United States Navy, will minister the oath of office to those being commissioned in the United States Navy. Admiral Franchetti, I present 760 midshipmen of the graduating class to be commissioned in the United States Navy. Well, good morning. What a great Navy day this is. Secretary Austin, Secretary Del Toro, General Smith, Admiral Davids, and parents, family, and friends of the class of 2024. Good morning. It is an incredible honor for me and General Smith to be here with you today. To the parents and friends of these exceptional young men and women sitting before us, there is no doubt that your love and steadfast support has played an outsized role in getting them to this day. Thank you for, for providing them an incredibly strong foundation to build on and for enabling them to embark on this journey of service. How about one more round of applause for our parents out there. <laughs> to the class of 2024, Welcome to America's warfighting Navy. From adversity to victory, over the past four years, you have worked hard, and you have learned from the best, and you have become a leader of character. Your spirit was tested, both inside and outside of Bancroft Hall, and even in the ninth wing. While many of you might not look back too fondly on those experiences, especially in those on plebe year, they are what bind this class together in ways that no other class will ever be able to relate to. As Secretary Austin said, you are entering the service at a critical time in our nation's history, a time when the Navy Marine Corps team is in high demand and in action on the world stage every day. Welcome it. Savor it, embrace it, because you are ready. You have all learned from one another. You have leaned into each other's strengths, and you have overcome shared adversity together. So as you prepare to head out on this next leg of your journey, let me leave you with three thoughts. First, be a leader. Whether you're going to flight school, nuclear power school, BUDS, TBS, a hospital, or my personal favorite, straight to the waterfront and out to sea. If you stay focused on the things that matter, integrity, people, teamwork, warfighting excellence, and safety, underpinned by a positive attitude and a winning mindset, there will be nothing your team cannot do under your leadership. Second, and I think you have a head start on this, Believe in yourself, believe in your teams, and always believe in the power of your dreams. You can do anything you set your mind to, in the Navy, in the Marine Corps, and in life. And third, be open to every possibility. When I was in your shoes, I really wanted to drive towards a very certain future, like I was on I-95. 
On I-95, you kind of go in a straight line all the way up from Maine to Florida. You know what's at every exit. You know how long it's going to take to get there. But over the years, I've realized that life is a lot more like the Potomac River than I-95. It meanders all around. There's unexpected rapids. There's blind curves. There's eddies. There's lots of branches. But if you are open to all of those possibilities, opportunities will come your way. Admiral Nimitz once said, and I'm paraphrasing here, learn all you can, do your best, and don't worry about the things you can't control. I found that quote when I was a midshipman, and it has helped me every step of the way. Focus on being your best and getting all the experiences you can, and one day when that possibility comes your way and the door of opportunity opens, you will be ready to walk right through. Lead, believe, and be open to the possibilities. That's 38 years of reflection in eight words, and I hope they serve you well on your journey just like they have served me on mine. Class of 2024, as you step up and take your place in America's warfighting Navy, you become a strong new link in our maritime chain, a chain that has defended our security and prosperity since our nation's creation. It is a chain that brings together like-minded nations with navies, Marine Corps, and Coast Guards who work together to protect the freedom of the seas and the economies that flow across them. Take pride in that. Take pride in all that you have accomplished and take pride in the significance of this moment. Soon to be ensigns, thank you for choosing to serve our nation in uniform, to serve something greater than yourself and for wanting to make a difference today and in the future. I congratulate you on all that you have achieved. Bravo Zulu, I could not be more excited to have you on the team. <laughs> Graduates to be commissioned in the United States Navy, rise. <laughs> Raise your right hand. Having been appointed an ensign in the United States Navy to rank as such from the 24th of May, 2024, do you solemnly swear that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that you take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which you are about to enter. So help you God. I do. Ensigns, seats. Ladies and gentlemen, today we will graduate 1,040 men and women who have met the many challenges of four years at the Naval Academy. In addition to those you just saw commissioned into the Navy and Marine Corps, the class of 2024 also includes 13 graduates from 11 nations around the world. At this time, at this time, we invite these international graduating midshipmen to stand when their name is called, along with members of their national delegation who are in attendance today. These graduates, whose national flags are flying above the memorial arches at the north end of the stadium, will return to their countries and serve with distinction in their armed forces or enter into other government service. From the Republic of Cameroon, Denzel Tatang Jawaka. From the Republic of Fiji, Adrian Narayan.
from Georgia, Goderzi, Gadelia. From Georgia, Natia Tutberidze. From the Republic of Korea, Min Gu Han. From the Republic of Maldives, Hildan Mashafik. From Mongolia, Sanasan Sengbuleg. From Montenegro, Ivan Baichita. From Montenegro, Strahinya Yayunchevic. From the Republic of Peru, Rodrigo Alcandre. From the Republic of the Philippines, Christian San Juan Achion. From the Republic of Poland, Bartosz Boyanski. From Sri Lanka, Sanjana Manogis. Thank you. Seats. Today's graduates join the more than 89,000 men and women who have graduated from the Naval Academy since its founding in 1845. As part of our graduation ceremony today, members of the Naval Academy class that preceded this year's graduates by 50 years will honor this continuing chain of Naval Academy graduates by presenting engraved ensign or second lieutenant uniform devices to the class of 2024. Several members of the class of 1974 are listed in your program and are here today to participate in this special recognition of Naval Academy graduates' contributions across the decades. Please join me in recognizing and applauding these distinguished graduates. Finally, before we begin introductions of individual graduates, I should remind you of an important Naval Academy tradition. The parents and friends of each graduate are invited to stand when that graduate's name is called. And that way, we can recognize your contribution to the achievement of these fine young men and women. The Secretary of Defense will now present diplomas to those individuals graduating with distinction. Those members of the class of 2024 graduating with distinction, please rise. Robert E. Klanick stands first in the class. Ian T. Dinmore. Samuel S. Shin. Sebastian Z. Martin. Sarah Ann Taylor. Teresa A. Milio. Patrick A. Palm. Adam A. Kennedy. Anthony J. Bruno, Eric Y. Liu, Daniel L. Wall, Catherine P. Aitken, Nicholas E. Bostock, Chloe E. Dawson, Joseph M. Ryman, Cole F. Martin, 
James B. Margison, Andrew Margiata, Adrian D. Riche, Caitlin M. Villa, Christopher A. Savetta, Andrew S. Colasar Jr., Casimir J. Pazeki, Chloe M. Skog, Charles R. Longacre, Cecilia E. Zagera, Michael T. Brandt, Eric M. Poe, Cameron A. Eldridge, Ram V. Krishnamurthy, Nicholas G. Aoun, Matthew P. Friedrichs, Alden A. Jerome, Nolan H. Jorgensen, McKenna A. Brophy, John Robert Pellegrin, Braden E. Zukowski, Dorian J. Williams, Shannon G. Clancy, Daniel J. O'Flaherty, Quentin C. Zimmer, Liam C. Brown, Abigail E. Balo, Nicholas H. Janowski, Stephanie E. Von Rosenberg, Claire A. Schnorr, Evan M. Warren, Christian W. Soriano, Jacqueline M. Gwynn, Kylie R. Pettit, Sienna N. Hall, Brian M. Lutgen, James R. Pullum, Logan A. Pa, Julia D. Collins, Lucas G. Gabrielli, Matthew M. Shira, Abigail J. Ward, John A. D'Annunzio, Sean M. Doherty, Samantha L. Schofield, Gabriel M. Slind, Zoe M. Suter, Samuel D. Levine, Connor M. Kinneman, John P. Rivoli Jr., Leah Y. Foricus, Matthew J. Schudig, Jordan H. Keck, Nicholas A. Messina, June E. Jordet, Anna Grace Y. Dumas, William R. Freeman, Cyrus F. Egtadari, Samantha K. Nakagawa, Brenna E. Wong, Stuart A. James, Julian O. Flores, Isaac T. Anderson, Georgiana E. Wilhelm, Sean G. Goyle, Maximilian A. Camuzzi, Anna Rose Hornick, Walker A. Lee, Maya U. Gully, Eric M. Esqueda, Braden A. Lechtefeld, Raymond K. Tong, Nicholas P. Wynn, Clay M. Jancic, Jaden R. Tabek, Sean P. O'Reilly Jr., Emily R. Booten, Patrick T. Hunsinger, Christian D. Arbini, Jordan A. Aragon, John R. Bassett, Maximus J. Lear, Kale D. Rankin, Joseph A. Costigan, Ryan F. Beckvar, 
Miranda V. Bly. Elizabeth G. Geiske. Richard H. Irving. Henry A. Isom. The Secretary of Defense, the Secretary of the Navy, the Chief of Naval Operations, the Commandant of the Marine Corps, the Superintendent, and the Commandant of Midshipmen will now present diplomas to members of the graduating class individually by company. Odd-numbered companies will receive their diplomas from my left, and even-numbered companies from my right. From the first company, Rodrigo Alcandre. From the second company, Thomas Gilbert Amoson the fourth. Madison R. Borden. Dennis Paul Budaz Jr. Sydney L. Bouts. Gardner Leon Campbell the third. Sam I. Beretta Gunter. Caden R. Capo Bianco. Brian K. Chorzempa. Charles E. Daniels. Lauren M. Day. Colin A. Davies. Nathan R. Duche. Nicholas C. Govich. Elizabeth K. Felix. Keandre G. Harper. Adolfo Z. Fernandez III. Catherine Colley Hartnett. Grace K. Findlay. Catherine Tran Healy. Mayu B. Gayton. William A. Hernandez. Samuel R. Glover Third, Ian M. Ishmael. Tico V. Harris Pham. Daniel W. Johnston. Francis C. Hollihan. Alexander F. LaRufa. Hayden S. Khan. Luke M. Lucerne. Ford Q. Knippa. Alana Rain Lynch. Magdalene M. Colossa. Andrew H. Morrill. Hudson D. Leonard. Sarah G. Myers. Jamie L. Llewellyn. Sean P. O'Dowd. Noah P. Loftus. Mary Claire G. Oliver. Megan E. Logan. Caroline V. O'Neill. Joseph H. Martin. Joshua A. Pena. Gabriel W. Neal. John Joseph Schumann. Dean S. Neely. Stephen L. Shin. Anna C. Newton. Grace Elizabeth Smith. Colin P. O'Connor. Jackson Timothy Taka. Jovian J. Peng. Maya F. Vath. Derek S. Scott. 
Ashish Reddy Venomadula. Madeline N. Torres. Kyle Yelensky. Lane H. Olsh. From the fourth company, Ethan T. Barton. E.J. W. Washington. Abigail R. Belko. Nathan P. Wilkie. Donald C. Bernard, Jr. Benjamin D. Witte. Christopher G. Boucher. Mason A. Wonder. Casey A. Brennan. From the third company, Kimberlyn K. Antis. Paula A. Fower. Timothy A. Chu. Robert N. G. Fogelson. Corinne E. Barrett. Dagan R. Franks. Samuel H. Ford Dirks. Tatum E. Garlington. Virginia R. Graves. Sarah G. Goins. Ryan J. Harris. Alexander J. Gustat. Ryan T. Hines. Gabriella I. Hand. Calvin A. Jensen. Andrew M. Meza. Daniel L. Jones. Cormac D. McCarthy. Catherine S. Kettner. Dylan M. Miller. Helen E. LaRoe. Peter M. Montgomery. Matthew Y. Lee. Mariah No. Matthew A. Lewis. Christopher J. Pappas. Job R. Long. John A. Patty. Devin T. Martin. Jackson G. Peters. Ian J. Mason. Charmaine J. Poses. Samuel A. Millet. Alan T. Ramorosen. Brooks and Milligan. Kiana Christina Rappa. Corbin P. O'Bannon. Darby L. Ratcliffe. Brendan K. Ulster. Daisy E. Riesbeck. E. Kenneth and Azobia. Trip M. Richardson. Sydney J. Paglia. Matthew H. Sale. Richard A. Poist. Jacob S. Smith. Colin S. Rourke. Matthew J. Weaver. Audrey J. Soroka. Hudson P. Williams. Scott L. Stensrud. Lu Yang. Ella E. Warfel. From the sixth company, Eleanor J. Abraham. Gavin C. Yetter. Matthew C. Alexander. From the fifth company, Charlie Ray Aldana Prue. 
Jarrett T. Brooker. Sabrina R. Becerra. Chase R. Caprella. Fred E. Bonin. Raymond Z. Chapman. Ajaya M. Brown. Luke L. Coyle. Rosemary I. Cherico. Alan J. Gardner. Bowen P. Dickstein. Jace H. Hackett. Anthony L. Fialo. Colleen E. Harmon. Wester E. Gapasongra II. Nicholas H. Hilliard. Catherine M. Grundling. Sarah E. Jarman. Ash M. Harbert. Gian Kim. David C. Helms. Gabriel S. Kitch. Jedediah D. Hendershot. George L. Khan III. Mara R. Hurdle. Grayson C. Logan. Noah M. Horton. Raymond Masood. Jared A. Inge. Garrett C. McGovern. Eliana Y. Kaufman. John M. Moore. Eric M. Lim. Dylan J. Medina. William K. Manlove. Marcus M. Miller. Elijah C. Millington. Kobe M. Wynn. Adrian S. Narayan. Kenneth M. Wynn. Natasha N. Neve. Adrian L. Olasnicki. Eduardo Ramirez. Sean D. Osher. John D. Robillard. Alexander R. Saber. Vaughn A. Schmitz. William L. Schippenhaus. Zaid Sharif. Aaron A. Sobers. Brent W. Stafford. Patrick I. Straley. Mason B. Stanfield. Eva T. Torres. Kevin L. Thibodeau. Jaden M. Umbarger. Brianna R. Boss. Dane R. Werner. David J. Wells. John H. Vong. Kamari J. Williams. Jordan A. Wayne. From the Seventh Company, Ethan R. Anderson. From the Eighth Company, Jason S. Buckner. Hunter Ryan Anderson. Christopher St. John Bushnell. Emily C. Armero. Kayla Peter Calandra. Garrett P. Brandreth. Thomas F. Callahan the Fifth. Tyler D. Calloway. Dante E. Carrasco. Elise M. Cornish. 
Liesel A. Denton. Alexander R. Edmonston. Anuga D. Ekanayaka. Schuler D. Elkins. Jacob C. Haley. Dane C. Ferris. Mingyu Han. Angela S. Fung. Catherine A. Herman. Dylan J. Flexman. Ian E. Hudson. Andrea Y. Garcia Mata. Dawson G. Hurley. Jacob A. Granados. Jonathan E. Jarez. Jennifer B. Harnage. Cassidy R. Kiko. Benjamin P. Ha. Gavin E. Kim. Daniel J. Hazlett. Jacob T. Colmeyer. Eli P. Holloman. Paul P. Kowalczyk. Donovan J. E. Toby. Lucinda A. Marvel. Stephanie K. Lee. Jalen J. May. Shane A. Mackey. Kevin S. McElfresh. Nathaniel W. Michaels. Alexandra N. Mijet. Cameron C. Murray. Julian D. Muniz. Leanna B. Osborne. Ethan R. Proctor. Catherine C. Rost. Alicia L. Ruiz. Sigrid B. Schwarzkopf. Jordan K. Savage. Gregory W. Stewart, Jr. Jesse E. Sedlock. David M. Spizak. Elizabeth M. Shippen. Jason E. Tejada. Anthony L. Solomon II. Jacob T. Vanspagna. Connor J. Spidell. Dominic G. Wiggins. Rome T. Winter. Stephen C. Williamson. Aaron Shing. Joshua Deny Wilson. From the 10th Company, Jason T. Aoyama. From the 9th Company, Jackson P. Aleman. Anthony S. Atkinson. Jackson T. Bonnet. Aiden C. Best. Cassidy I. Borden. Claire M. Brophy. Nate W. Bramwell. James W. Downing. Gabriel D. Cleveland. Jay Sean A. DuBose. Noah A. Dornick. Samuel E. Floyd. Lillian A. Freeman. Ashlyn T. George. Gabriel C. Fulton. Nico C. Gonzalez Reed. Gabriel Genzir Imperiali. 
Sarah N. Hopkins. Lorenzo S. Garriman. Jacob A. Jones. Holly E. Hamner. Angelo L. LeBay. Ryan E. Hogg. Cameron J. Love. Emily J. Junker. Grace E. Middleton. Levi W. Knobloch. Emily P. Morrissey. Jackson K. Lamont. May I Myers. Madeline A. Lowy. Benjamin D. Negroen. Mary K. McCrell. Josephine C. Nudley. Julian D. McLeod. Alexander L. Penyon. Jacob B. Meyer. Jordan E. Payne. Payne J. Menezes. Maxwell R. Pereira. George T. Moore. Hannah E. Perrine. Landon T. Up. Cecilia R. Reck. Zane M. Rabba. Nelson J. Rios. Owen E. Retzer. Alexandra J. Sayre. Drew T. Robinson. Peter A. Shaner. Ethan A. Schneider. Isabel I. Thornburg. Matthew G. Sawinski. Madeline M. Turner. Dane E. Swanson. Zachary M. Wagner. Emmanuel E. Villatoro Fuentes. From the 12th Company, Bartosz Blonsky. From the 11th Company, Gabriella F. Baldwin. Michael A. Buchalad. Cecilia M. Ballesteros. Jacob A. Braunschweiger. Alexis B. Batances. Peter M. Brown. Michael A. Bronger. Andrew John C. Carlos. Alan M. Brown. Hanol S. Cho. Roy J. Choi. Alexander Hamid Rashid Cole. Alexander E. Coelho. Ryan P. Cordova. Stephen S. Copeland. Kellya Simone Daniel. Edward D. D. Natale. Ian B. Ellis. Jake Ebert. Tausili K. Fiatoa. Anna E. Freihofer. Audrey C. Gilchrist. Avon M. Gibbons. Bryson M. Greer. Brandon J. Ginolet. James V. Hansen. Donald O. Hackett. Morgan A. McPeak. 
Thomas Arjanowski. Max D. Musen. Michael A. Lebosco. Julia A. Messa. Sean G. McLeany. Esteban A. Nunez. Xander E. Manuel. Lydia J. Payton. Catherine G. Meyer. Dylan E. Poyer. Thomas R. Minor. Weston J. Reese. Jack P. Mullahan. Austin Vincent B. Rez. Kid Oni. Mariana G. Rosanya. Christian S. Otiang. Jack Douglas B. Shaw. Elise F. Ray. Trenton Robert Shaw. Adrian Y. Tang. Spencer Allen Shelley. Shane A. Tom. Rachel Ann Summers. Ty H. Tran. Jack T. Thornton. Jada E. Williams. John C. Velton. From the 13th Company, Andrew J. Basilic. Cecilia R. Wheeler. Ivan Bachetta. From the 14th Company, Lauren A. Aguilar. Jackson G. Boyer. Nizma Abdallah Balowi. Khalil I. Crawford. Gabriel D. Bennett. Mark G. Deli. Kelly V. By. Jordan M. Detweiler. Olivia Marie Castilla. Alton J. Edwards Andrini. Spencer Young Clark. Matthew K. Eusebio. Christina M. Cornelio. Caitlin A. Fish. Joshua H. Dixon. Patrick D. Fisher. Jeffrey S. Edwards, Jr. Elliot J. Gage. Nadir H. M. Lemdi. Luke M. Gerard. Timothy P. Ferran. Jonah R. Harm. Andy M. Freeman. Ella Jade M. Hayden. Clark Henry Freeman. Christian A. Hodges. Daniel E. Gantz. Hope M. Hotchkiss. Riley N. Gavigan. Matthew M. Hutler. Keith A. Henderson II. Connor N. Kemper. Thomas C. Hovivian. Robert Kim. Logan C. Keller. Mackenzie P. Kirkpatrick. David J. Kowalczyk. Clarissa J. Leyland. Hayden M. Lenhard. Ricardo Levis. 
Hunter D. Walker. Alexandra Lee Mueller. Tyler S. Massena. Nathan J. Palmer. Sean K. McCormick. Reba Q. Pamintuan. Brindley J. Nordgauer. Ivan Peng. Ollie A. Parrish. Matthew D. Rosendahl. Rudolph T. Rodriguez. Drew W. Russell. K. J. Spryder. Jacob M. Schweizo. August J. Taylor. Henry C. Sparkman. Max A. Tebow. Connor G. Startzel. Grant J. Treister. Caroline G. Steffens. Alexander J. Vogel. Sarah J. Zanzari. Jin Hing Yu. From the 15th Company, Nathaniel R. Basford. From the 16th Company, Emily M. Bobrak. Jonathan D. Bailing. Dylan J. Booth. Jacob A. Badia. Carl A. Sarizo. Renee L. Bonner. Jordan M. Corpus. James D. Carlson Zayats Jr. Matteo J. DeVito. Dan A. Delatore. Mia K. Dillon. Ryan J. Engelhard. Avinash S. Ganguly. Nicholas P. Faroud. Nequandre O. Grace. Gudetsi Gadelia. Langston J. Greer. Jennifer Gow. Benjamin A. Groons. Margaret F. Gretsch. Ethan R. Goulden. Aaron R. Hearn. Marissa M. Hall. John T. Ingram. Malia L. Hart. Allison L. Kalinowski. David A. Hicks III. Merrick J. Clunder. Keegan C. Hauser. Emily G. Mang. Brooke E. Elam. Jonathan W. McCabe. Jarrett R. Johnson. Sebastian R. Moses. David S. Key. Joseph B. Murray the Fifth. Hannah Y. Lowenstein. Hannah S. O. Zachary S. Lozano. Emma D. Peck. Cameron J. Marion. Sarah E. Richardson. Samuel J. Murray. Eleanor K. Rieger. Caleb J. Myers. Catherine J. Schlosser. Domini J. O'Consi. 
Anthony E. Sigliano, Kyle M. Perry, Andrew R. Sowinski, Michael J. Petroff, Richard G. Trentelage, Ambria R. Pipo, Elizabeth A. Vanderberg, Kainoa H. Sasaki, Jacob J. Van Ostrand, Sophie R. Scrivener, T. B. Vu, Madeline R. Smith, Zachary W. Ward, Elizabeth J. Thompson, Elizabeth M. Wielander, Ashley N. Warren, what? Henry C. Weymouth, from the 18th Company, Cassandra Arlando, Long T. Wong, Garrett L. Boblitz, from the 17th Company, Bryce J. Becker, Brian P. Bird Jr., Preston M. Black, Genoa M. Blow, Christian J. Bryan, Destiny C. Bird, Julia B. Christie, Kai M. Chun, Emily P. Coates, Nicholas Charles Clark, Christian F. Koliohe, Ava G. Eisenhower, Connor R. Feely, Charles T. Jensen, Haley Fang, Baba Kali, Thomas M. Fudor. J. Foreman, Andres De La Puente, George E. Hollister, Sophie B. Ebert, Andrew R. Keating, David W. Elridge the Second, Hannah E. Kennis. Tucker M. Grachowski, Natalia E. Corey, Louis G. Langless, Ronan J. McQuillan, Veronica A. Lieberman, Isaac F. McQuillan, Zachary G. Lowe's, Avery G. Miller, Bryce K. Marchetti, John E. Moore, Matthew A. McKinley, Jordan D. Parker, Adelaide A. Moulton, Brennan T. Penifield, Kevin M. O'Toole, Michael D. Rockovich, Lucas H. Paskatch, Kai P. Rojas, Emma J. Petrich, Madison G. Schaefer, Romaine A. Robinson, Rachel L. Schlemmer, Ethan M. Roy, Sophia C. Smith, Walker R. Rudisale, Ryan N. So, Riley S. Sherman, Nathan B. Staber, Ronan S. N. Stork, 
Trace D. Stewart. Rowan C. Suarez. John H. Walker III. Denzel R. Titang. Kiefer L. Williamson. Elijah D. Vance. Samuel F. Workman. Shania R. Vincent. From the 19th Company, Xavier J. Arline. Jeffrey K. Warren. Nicholas K. F. Blout. From the 20th Company, James Newton Atkins IV. Jameson S. Bardier. Maretta J. Conley. Blaine L. Butler. Colin Cornack. Andrew D. Calabrese. Luis A. Corona. Lauren Rose Check. Logan D. Gill. Armando J. Chung. Kayla C. Gillams. Landon C. Frank. Gabriella L. Haig. Anna Marie Freeman. Hayden M. Hallett. Grace L. Hastings. Maxwell P. Hewitt. Michael J. Heisinger. Ava G. Eisenhower. David L. Jackson. Charles T. Jansen. Shaihan Yan Yusevich. Baba Kali. Timothy E. Lee Young. Harrison A. Camplin. Brandon M. McGon. Luke A. King. And Lise A. Nichols. Anna C. Kleemeyer. Chiname I. Ozubo. Thomas J. Majira. Ayush Patty. Christopher T. Martino. Colson K. Palucci. Lucy E. Mall. Braden J. Presser. Emily McCausland. Zachary G. Quick. Daniel C. McMahon. Brennan D. Sawyer. Michael A. Migliori. Gabrielle M. Schultz. Brendan R. Miller. Kevin R. Stevens. Claudia M. Montanero. Skyler X. Sunball. Lachlan M. Munig. Nam M. Tran. Isabella Peralta. Chelsea R. Washington. Patricia Emmanuel R. Ramos. Mitchell B. Waters. Silas W. Rhodes. Lucas N. Wright. Abigail D. Sullivan. Gisnell D. UC. Francisco J. Vijamil Rodriguez. Lolak M. Zahid. Matthew T. Voidalock. From the 21st Company, Brandon R. Atwood. Mackenzie E. Wood. Samuel B. Beach. From the 22nd Company, J.C.K. Akpolki. Caroline Riley Bill Bracon. Victoria A. Bravo. Eric A. Brandon. Colin R. Campbell. Max J. Bueno. Grace E. Casey. Marcus S. Bynum. Andrew R. Cerniglia. Edwin L. Carter. 
Joseph D. Kreis. Aaron J. Davis. Clay H. Cromwell. Kevin Michael Foley Jr. Ian J. Crossy. Stephen D. Frost. Jacob S. Kubler. Alexander J. Gannon. Tanner Q. Cummins. Catherine M. Goldbranson. Aaron J. Davis II. Maxwell S. Green. Matthew R. Downey. Isabella C. Griffey. Connor P. Garrison. Sarah E. Gurley. Eric B. Gagenheimer. Anna P. Hung. Luke R. Heffelfinger. Kelly M. Martino. Akalia O. Capono. Luke I. Miser. Carolyn M. Colsefron. Atticus C. Miller. Bradley B. Lesko. Morgan E. Monreal. Alex J. Lim. Samuel S. Moultrie. Sophia T. Okorafor. Lirian Mortizi. Christian A. Payne. Orville W. Nyblade III. Sydney G. Richardson. Victor K. Otero. Armand Rochon. Thomas G. Pottenberg II. Isabella L. Santa Maria. Casey A. Keanu. Elena M. Schloeder. John B. Robertson. Natea Tutberidze. William A. Schabacher. Griffith M. Warren. Brendan T. Smith. Jalen M. Washington. All the way, Kiolo A. Shanganuga. Ethan T. Wilson. Kevin H. Tanaka. From the 24th Company, Joshua Y. Burns. Natalie N. Torres. Patrick R. Catron. Mackenzie R. Yim Harvin. Kayla R. Khan. Sophia J. Yu. Bridget K. Cosgrove. From the 23rd Company, M. Rochelle Barrett. Ann C. Kulisarto. Lindsay J. Beardmore. Claudia M. Downing. Margaret P. Bodman. Eric H. Engelke. Anthony Barbaria. Chloe E. Ferreira Copat. Hunter D. Davis. Cooper L. Flowers. Gage X. Denatay. Aubin H. Hattendorf. Ross J. Janikola IV. Mitchell V. Henshaw. Madison R. Gallagher. Aiden Crowley Johnson. Merritt W. Heidich. Jack W. Judy. Sean T. Harlan. Justin D. Lee. J. Dixon Hughes. Nicholas Pedro Licalzi. Jared R. Iverson. Emily Lou. Javier E. Jimenez Kane. James Henry McAtee the Fourth. Yeehan S. Kim. Luke A. McIntyre.
McIntosh, Dwight E. Kinney, Devin L. Moore, L. M. Lancaster, Trevor M. Oxenrider, Kylie J. McClure, Riley A. Perry, Kayla E. McGuire, Caroline E. Pillars, John P. Oliver III, Grant L. Purcell, Bernardo J. Ortiz, Kathleen M. Roland, Samantha J. Padilla, Hildon A. Shafiq, Matthew A. Perez, Samuel P. Sheridan, Reagan N. Quilty, Joshua B. Tamelis, Morgan K. Sheehy, Shuato, Chandler A. Styles, Alex G. Toner, Maeve C. Swick, Nadezhda A. Tomakov, Lucas B. Selassie, Thomas A. Wacker, Savion T. Young, Charles K. West. From the 25th Company, Nicole E. Babbitt, Maxwell C. Wilson, Camilio Ruiz Cardona, Kyle A. Young, Benjamin S. DeCastro. From the 26th Company, Evan J. Adams. Eduardo R. Diaz, Jr. Taya M. Atkinson. Lucas E. Elatario. Madison G. Angle. Alexandra V. Hand. Ben S. Bancroft. William B. Harbour. Anna L. Bellis. Dante A. Hayes. Travis S. Burzens. Nicholas W. Hyel. Spencer L. Dickensheets. Tess K. Hintelman. Dylan M. Douglas. Samantha E. Johns. Sophia A. Ewing. Ryan A. Karsten. Brendan D. Frerich. Arlie Faith T. Lagat. Lindy G. Gostage. Michael A. Lancaster. Owen H. Gurich. Max A. Lapu. Maximilian L. Kimmel. Jordan L. Llewellyn. Ty O. Lavatai. Isaac E. Lopez. Adam J. Lazina. Amelia F. Manis. Madison Lynn. Cecilia B. McAndrews. Aaron Fletcher Matthews. Marcus A. Moore, Jr. Xavier D. McDonald. Matthew K. Murphy. Luke L. Miatol. Dutton C. Rogers. Joseph A. Matzel. Washington B. Ross. Parker A. Rathman. Julian C. Marquez. John P. Rooney. Christopher J. Volpe. Hunter M. Ryan. Kenny R. Wilkerson, Jr. Sanasen Sainbeleg. Nathan C. Williams. Vincent P. Scalpati. From the 27th Company, Daniel J. Alley. Emily 
Invitation! Daniela C. Baldwin! Daniel M. Sherrod! Aaron H. Bell! Sumrat R. Singh! Malin J. Beerman! Sabrina O. Sokol! Cadman B. Binning! Sabrina A. Sonsini! Harden J. Folt! David E. Tawney! Virginia A. Bratton! K. Michael Wrigley Jr. Willie Collins the fifth! From the 28th Company, Raphael Alvarez! Donna M. Evans! Ward X. Benzma! Andrea Granado! Connor P. Brennan! Brooke S. Green! Kevin J. Burgess! Jacob J. Greenwood! William P. Clark! Justin T. Gadia! Cameron C. Kofelt! Nathan T. Gustafson! Joseph V. Coladonato! Jacob M. Hill! Jennifer A. Daunt! Elizabeth M. Hoover! Robert S. Dickinson! Olivia J. Hunt! Carl K. C. Florida! Aaron W. Jin! Jerome S. Thudia Jr. Dalton A. Jones! Grady M. Grease! June San Lee! Gabriel T. Hetland! Timothy Michael Martin! Caleb W. Hickey! Christopher Lynn Nicholson II! Jay Ho! Hannah L. News! Tyler G. Hunt! Gabrielle Ignacio Ortez Cortez! Christopher A. Jacob! Bryson R. Braden M. Kaiser! Caleb W. C. Wright! Shane T. Lockwood! Ariel E. Sheckley! Jacob Dylan B. Madariaga! Charles W. Stoner! Sanjana Manajit! Aiden E. Taplin Patterson! Mary E. McDonald! Shyla B. Two! Aiden J. Michelson! Joseph Baluz! Jack R. Mickelson! Dylan X. Wong! Maya E. Novak! John C. Wendeborn! Alyssa G. Nowicki! From the 29th Company, Juan S. Ayala Lago! Timothy R. Perez! Daniel C. Bartosik! Hannah E. Pratt! Stevie Bennett Jr. Jonathan Z. Purvis! Rachel A. Bland! Stella R. Ribado! Joshua A. Buwama! Angelina H. Rappo! Andrew C. Breermore! Elise A. Russell! Samuel W. Buford! Kareem J. Singleton, Jr. Ian A. Burt. Ella G. Vath. Frank S. Carter, the fourth. Micah Ray Villa. Eli A. 
Carter. From the 30th Company, Joshua K. Anderson. Patrick M. Cowell. Tristan D. Ayers. Mackenzie L. Daniels. Ariana L. Bryant. Michael L. Golden. Reagan M. Castiglione. Bryce A. Croft. Jacob Y. Cho. Caroline M. Harding. Peter A. Costello. Alyssa C. Hayes. Gabriel I. Craven. Abigail A. Hirschner. Brian T. Fury. Ethan M. Hollowell. Colin A. Green. Robert E. Lee. Nicholas S. Hens. Howard H. Lynn. Caleb Y. Hong. Gabriella G. Paradi. Cameron E. Horner. Matthew B. Richardson. Julia G. Lair. Rohit R. Settler. Olivia R. Marshall. Ethan A. Stern. Andrew J. Minnett. Omen E. Torno. Charles W. Menifee. Helen F. West. Liam A. Nawara. Xavier O. White. Luke N. Wynn. Christopher K. Winter. Philip P. Pacheco. William S. Wright. Trenton T. Parker. Kyle W. Zimmer. Alondra Reyes. Margaret C. Sandoval. Phoebe E. Spackman. Christiana A. Stevenson. Samuel S. Tabler. Charles T. Turner. Adam U. Vellin. Blair B. Walters. Shinbo Wong. Sydney. Bridget Mara Welch. Second Lieutenant Mac Daniels, United States Marine Corps, President of the Class of 2024. Good afternoon, Secretary Austin, Secretary Del Toro, General Smith, Admiral Franchetti, Vice Admiral Davids, distinguished guests, family, friends, faculty, staff, and members of our Link in the Chain, K-12 
Captain Yeager, and the esteemed class of 1974. On behalf of the class of 2024, I would like to thank you all for attending our commencement. I am deeply humbled to have the opportunity to address you all today. Secretary Austin, thank you for taking the time to be here with us today, sir. We truly appreciate all of the words that you shared with us. We will keep them in the forefront of our minds as we head out into our respective warfighting communities. Sir, if you'd please join me up here at the podium. On behalf of the class of 2024, I would like to present you with this gift. Thank you, sir. For the record, I did hear a couple of beat armies coming through the line there. <laughs> Thanks, sir. Throughout our dime here in Annapolis, we've had the opportunity to come across, interact with, and learn from many different people. Every year, the graduating class is able to select three honorary members that will join them in commencement ceremonies and be recognized as part of the class from then on. Our first honorary graduate is Command Master Chief Kareem Cole. Master Chief Cole's son and our beloved classmate Alex Cole has shared the following tribute. Command Master Chief Cole's unwavering dedication and his 33 years of selfless service have left an indelible mark on the Naval Academy community. Command Master Chief Cole is not only a leader and mentor to the brigade, but he is also a father to his son Alex and daughter Marie. He is a beacon of generosity and hospitality. He and his wife Bridget Cole, a retired Marine Master Sergeant, have opened their home to provide support to countless midshipmen, offering them a sanctuary for study and relaxation. Master Chief Cole's love for cooking and hosting gatherings has created a sense of camaraderie and community. As a senior most enlisted member on the yard, he tirelessly advocates for his enlisted counterparts, ensuring their voices are heard and their contributions recognized. With a doctorate in organizational leadership, he also works in Loose Hall as a professor of plebe leadership. As a hospital corpsman by trade, he played an integral role during the COVID-19 pandemic by volunteering to assist in the vaccination of the brigade and by standing watch at St. John's College when the brigade was temporarily displaced. For running the PRT with those who are on the verge of failing, to picking up and shipping from the airport at midnight, Master Chief Cole's commitment to the well-being and success of our brigade knows no bounds. Command Master Chief Cole, a true embodiment of the values and spirit of the United States Naval Academy. Command Master Chief, would you please join me up here at the podium? <laughs> On behalf of the class of 2024, we would like to present you with this flag of our class crest, signed by all members of the class of 2024. Our secondary honorary graduate is the family of Luke Bird. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would, please join me in a moment of silence in remembrance of Luke. Thank you. One of Luke's best friends and company mate, Olin Brown, has shared the following in Luke's memory. Luke's passing was a pointed finger, a finger pointed in rebuke for some an affirmation of the right direction for others. The standards, achievements, and accomplishments that we compete for here are just smoke in the hands when measured against the reality of the jobs we each intend to pursue once our hats are thrown in the air. His life pointed to the why behind the achievements we garner here, the physical tests we put ourselves through, the leadership we voluntarily take on. His life pointed to the purpose of a leader, to give one strength and love and service to those who need it. Luke's flame was short, but it burned hot and bright. We are all called to illuminate the rooms we are in and provide some warmth for those inside. We are all called to love each other well. That was something Luke figured out early on and something that would take most of us a lifetime to perfect. Our signed class crest flag will be presented to the family of Luke Bird by Chief Adam Heredia.
Our third honorary graduate is the family of Mason Halsey. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would, please join me in a moment of silence in remembrance of Mason. One of Mason's best friends and spirit teammates, Avi Anguli, has shared the following in Mason's memory. He was more than just a friend. He was someone you could lean on. He was someone who could make you laugh at your lowest and make you smile when it was the last thing you wanted to do. Mason was someone we loved, and he was someone that was able to love no matter what. He could make anyone laugh or smile like it was his job. Mason touched so many of our lives in one way or another, whether it be a friendship that spanned years, just a passing glow in the hallway. That is the kind of person he was. His love was contagious and spread like a wildfire. His tenacity, determination, and ability to build bonds with everyone he met was something I admired. He was loved by everyone. I truly wish Mason was here today, and in a way, he still is. He lives on with us in memories, friendship, and the compassion that we were all so lucky to experience. I ask that you all take the love that Mason exemplified and spread it wherever you go. With the class of 24, there are enough people here that will reach every corner of the world. Remember Mason for who he was, the core values that he embodied, and the memories that he blessed us with. Our shine class crest flag will be presented to the family of Mason Halsey by Chief Matthew Grubb. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming our three honorary graduates to the class of 2024. <laughs> in the words of our 64 superintendent, Admiral Kasher, no one ever complained of a speech being too short. With that, I'll get to it. First, I would be remiss if I did not offer thanks to all those who have poured so much into my classmates over me over the past four years. To all active duty staff around the yard, thank you for being positive mentors and figures for us to look to. You've shown what it looks like to bear the standard and be consummate professionals in everything we do. Now it is our turn to walk point. To all the professors and instructors, thank you for pouring so much time and effort into our academic journey. Your steadfast commitment to the brigade is very much appreciated. To our link of the chain, Captain Yeager in the class of 1974. Thank you for being a guiding force throughout our time here in Annapolis. My classmates and I have truly enjoyed getting to know you all through various link of the chain events, and we look forward to many more shared memories to come. Thank you. To our families, friends, and loved ones, this day is really all about you. As the ancient proverb says, it takes a village to raise a child. My classmates and I sit before you assembled at 1,040 strong. But we aren't just 1,040 individuals. We are 1,040 representations of villages. We have been forged and transformed by your love, support, advice, and direction along the way. It takes a village. We love you all very much. God bless you all. Finally, and most importantly, I would like to thank and give all glory to God. His blessings keep on running down, and I believe that nothing is possible unless he wields it. The oath of office that we took earlier today includes the words, so help me God. May his hand continually guide us in the pursuit of our beloved homeland's defense. To the underclass, chop wood and carry water. In the samurai archer culture, depicted in Joshua Metcalf's book, Chop Wood, Carry Water, this phrase is used to describe falling in love with the process of becoming great. In order to achieve greatness, samurai archers would chop wood and carry water. Once they achieved greatness, they would chop wood and carry water. It's difficult to pinpoint a specific event that changed who I was over the past four years. Getting commissioned just moments ago didn't provoke a major character transformation in my life or the lives of any of my classmates. We are who we are because of the decisions we have made each and every day over the past 1,425 training days here by the Severn. 
Take pride in the process of becoming who you want to be for those you will lead. There's always work to be done. Never stop improving. Take pleasure in chopping wood and carrying water. To my classmates, in adversities, Victoria. Our class motto, which means, from adversity, victory. With this in mind, I'd like to share with you all one of my favorite scriptures in the Bible. Second Samuel tells the story of a man named Benaiah in a few short lines. Besides being King David's chief guard, we don't know much about him, but we do know one other thing. Benaiah chased a lion into a pit on a snowy day and killed it. He saw adversity, chased it, and came out victorious. When I look out amongst all of you, I see nothing but lion chasing warriors like Benaiah, ready for whatever comes our way. We are commissioning into a period of time characterized by uncertainty. We may not know what tomorrow, next month, year, decade, or even next century will bring, but I can guarantee one thing. Whatever lions come our way, 24, we will continue to chase those lions into those pits on those snowy days, kill them, and come out on the other side. So let us take the helm. Let us walk point. Let us be about that action, because if we don't, who will? Godspeed, 24. Ladies and gentlemen, as we come to the end of today's ceremony, please rise for the singing of Navy Blue and Gold. Please be seated. The president of the class of 2025, Midshipman Herb Lacey. <laughs> Members of the classes of 2025, 2026, and 2027, please rise. I propose three cheers for those about to leave us. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. Hip hip hooray. Please be seated. <laughs> Class of twenty twenty four, please rise. I propose three cheers for those we leave behind. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hooray!